Sean here with another helpful tip. If you want to be able to do your own parked regen, get this diesel decoder. So I'm not sponsored, but this is what I currently use uh, to be able to diagnose my truck and also do parked regens on my own without having to go to the dealer and pay tons of money. It also comes with an OBD adapter. Let me show you how it works. So first thing you need to do is plug it in, making sure that this tab is aligned with the slot in your adapter. Once it's plugged in, make sure you wait for the light to turn green. You're gonna download and install the app if you don't have it. It's called Diesel Decoder. You're gonna open it up. First thing you're gonna do is hit connect. Now, I already have this device on my uh, app, so I'm gonna hit connect to the last device. If you don't, you're gonna hit select device and then a uh, list well, it'll only be one, but it'll come up in your list and then select the device and then uh, connect to it. All right, so I'm connected now, and first thing I need to do is scan for faults in data. Now, this process can take a while, so be patient. Uh, there's like 500 something modules that's scanning. Okay, as you see, that took about 10 minutes uh, to get through all of the scans. So it's pinging all the modules and getting a response from all the sensors and all the data that it's, uh, it's asking for. So that's why it takes a minute. Now, once the scan is done, you're gonna go back and then you're gonna go to whatever you want to here. So right now, I wanna look at my fault code. So, all right, so as you see, I've got no fault codes found, which is a great thing. And let's go look at live data now. Uh, let's look at vehicle data. So as you can see, it pulls up all your transmission, all your hardware, everything, uh, cruise control states. Now you can't change anything in here. So as far as your road speed and as far as um, your you know horsepower or your torque, any of that stuff, you can't change. All you can go in here and do is view what your sensors are, are saying. All right, and then you also can see your after treatment. Uh, my after treatment exhaust one temperature is 233 degrees. Particular intake temperature is 233. So you can see, I can see all my, my information in here and determine whether everything is working within specifications. And the most important thing that I like to do with this is to be able to do, if you go to perform command, so choose your motor and they support pretty much everything. I have a Detroit. All right, so you, I can do either a DPF regen, which is a parked regen, or I can do an ash accumulator reset, accumulator reset. I'm not gonna do any of these right now because uh, my engine's good as far as all that stuff. I'm just using this as an example to show you what you can do with this. All right, and I don't wanna do any of that stuff anymore. So you can go to your total vehicle data It'll tell you what your trip fuels are, what your delivery pressure is on your fuel rail, uh, your oil pressure, you know, all kinds of information in here, which is really, really good to have. Okay, so I'm all done in here and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. Device is disconnected, so I can go ahead and unplug it now. So like I said, I'm not sponsored, but this is what I currently use, and it was about $350. So if you go to the dealer and have them do a regen on your truck, it's gonna cost you roughly that same amount. So if you buy this, you have it, you own it, and you never have to worry about paying the dealer to do a regen on your vehicle again. And the other bonus is you can see what all your parameters are for all your sensors. And uh, if, you have a, if you have a fault code, um, there's a link to a website you can go to. I think you gotta pay for it monthly, um, but it, basically gives you troubleshooting um, information on how to diagnose whatever's going on with your truck. So I hope this helps and I will leave a link to it in the, down below. And if you have any questions or comments or anything, make sure you put it in the comment section and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.